Hey there folks, Todd with Great Escape Farms here. This is the start of a new playlist on my channel. And what this particular playlist is gonna focus on are some of the tests that I'm running on pawpaws. So I have several tests under, actually I have many tests underway. It's just some of the results won't be point won't be reported for close to two years on some of them and others I'll have reported here in just uh, another couple of weeks. So the first test that I've been running kind of all summer and I do have one video out there, I'll move it into this playlist, uh, just kind of uh, describing what I'm doing. That is a softwood cutting update. So basically I take a cutting from a pawpaw and I try various different ways to get it to root. That This has been done before by KSU and others with low success, but some success. So that tells me that it is possible. I just, I'm trying to improve on it, see if I can find another way to do it. So I will have, I have a test out on that. I have a whole fruit pawpaw test. So what I'm gonna do is take a whole fruit, plant a whole fruit. I'm gonna stratify it. It's in stratifying right now. I'm gonna plant the whole fruit. I'm also gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna plant a half a fruit just on top of the soil, under the soil. I'm gonna try various different ways. So that is another test. Then I have frozen seeds. So people have told me that you cannot freeze pawpaw seeds. So I'm like, okay, for how long? If I accidentally put seeds in a freezer for an hour, is that too long? Is a day too long? Is a month too long? So I have multiple hours and days that I'm gonna be running tests that I'm freezing seeds and see if they grow. Each test is gonna have 10 seeds in it, so I will get kind of a percentage there. And if I need to refine it, so let's say that uh, it's it's 15 days that I get uh, a major change in the number that actually germinate, then I can focus around that. Well, how about 14 and a half days? How about 14 and three quarter days? So I can refine next year. Right now, I'm just trying to find a starting point for some of these tests. So frozen seeds. Then I'm going to tr try some dry seeds. So some people say that you cannot dry pawpaw seeds out. Again, for how long? If I'm pulping a pawpaw, can it set out for an hour? Can it set out for two hours? So I did, al I have already come across some results on this as I was pulping it there, or as I was drying seeds out. I'm doing hours and days all the way up to a month on this one. But after, I think it was about four hour where they actually, some of them started floating. So I'll, I'll have all the details on that. So that's just one of the other tests. I'm gonna do some hardwood cutting. So I will take cuttings in the month of March and I will plant them and then I'll transition immediately into a mist system as soon as it uh, goes above freezing out there. So uh, a, an extended hardwood test, if you will. So kind of a combination of hardwood, softwood. Then I have a couple others that I've added on. Let's see, freezer test I already talked about. So I added on doing it by the hour. Initially, I was just gonna do it by the day. And then I'm doing a seed stratification test. So. People say that pawpaw seeds need to stratify in a refrigerator for 90 to 120 days. Uh, that's a window. Does that mean that if I'm in for 89 days, it doesn't work? So I'm running multiple tests there. I'm actually starting at 15 days and I am going up to 105 days. So that's the shorter end. And then I have a separate test that I'm doing on the longer end of stratification. And on the longer end, I am doing, let's see, eight months of stratification. So put it in the refrigerator. Hey, I forgot. I didn't even pull it out of the refrigerator until June. Most people pull it out in the winter sometime. And I'm going to go all the way up to two years in the refrigerator and see what happens with it. So this particular test, because it's two years long, I'll probably do a mid-year update. So about a year in and just let you know how it's going. But I'm going to take that one to fruition for uh, the full two years. And then the dry test, I actually, I started out doing just days and I switched over to doing hours on that one. So uh, I started at one hour and I went up to 24 hours in one hour increments all the way across. So. I will have all of that there. If you have any ideas on anything I can test with pawpaw seeds or growing pawpaws, things that you can't find research on, and I've looked, I can't find research on this. My guess is it's probably been done, I just can't find it. If you have any suggestions, anything to do, I still have seeds left, I can just still do tests this year, go ahead and comment and let me know on different things I can try and I might be able to actually get them in this year. So I still have about 100 seeds left that are, I don't have designated to different tests, so I can go ahead and do some things this year. So go ahead and keep an eye out for this playlist. I will be posting results as they come out. I will move, once I post this video, 
I'll go ahead and move at the overview of the test and my thoughts as the test is going on on the softwood cutting. Probably going to have the results for the softwood cutting probably by the first or second week in November. So we're not too far off on that one. And the other results with stratification on seed germination, I won't be able to tell that until May or June because I will stratify until February and then I will go ahead and plant the seeds. Once I plant them, I have to wait for them to grow out. So in February, I generally it is May when I see things to start sprout. There's 10 seeds in every single test I'm doing so I can get a percentage. So if nine out of 10 go, I got a 90% success ratio. Very, very rough, not that horribly scientific here, but it will give me an idea of where to hone in my test next year. I will do similar tests next year, but I will do it in a smaller period of time. So for the freeze test, I won't do from one hour up to 30 days. I'll have an idea of exactly where I need to hone in on it. So again, thank you for tuning in, checking us out here. Like I said, keep an eye out for this playlist. I will have results out there. And please, 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 if you have any tests that I haven't mentioned that you think is important to all of us as pawpaw growers out there, let me know and I will see if I can fit it in this year. If not, if it looks like a valid test, I will put it on the drawing board for next year. Thank you very much and have a great day.